The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Welcome to Real Agriculture Soybean School. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In today's episode, I talked to Dennis Lang, who is the Interseed Development Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture. It's been about 30 days since most of the crops have been seeded in the area. So Dennis and I take a walk through the soybean fields to see exactly what we are seeing and how to do a proper stand establishment. So when you're walking into the field, what is one of the first things you are doing? Well, one of the first things you, you need to do is uh, put your booties on. That's probably one of the first things, as you can see here in the video, I have my nice plastic booties on here, so I'm not bringing in any soil from any other, other regions, and I'm not taking anything back out when I, when I go. Um, I try to walk kind of on a W pattern across the field to do stand assessments, um, doing my plant stand count in at least five different regions to kind of give me a good idea of what kind of stand assessment that, uh, that we have here. So. so are there any special tools you use to help determine stand establishment? Well, probably the most important one you can have is a hula hoop. Now, this one's rather unique because it's 28 and a quarter inches, and the multiplication factor is 10,000. So, what you can do is when you toss these out, uh, whatever plant number you get in there, multiply by 10,000, you're good to go. So, if you're at 14 plants in this hula hoop, that's 140,000 plants. Really easy to do. Um, you can pick some of the, this one here was custom designed by a company. Uh, it's made out of uh, air, air, um, uh, tubing from uh, uh, aircraft carrier or air, air, aircraft tubing, I guess they call it. Uh, but any hula hoop that you, you do find in you know, different, different stores, um, you can resize it down to get that 28 and a quarter number. You can use other sizes. There's just, just different conversion factors that you use for those. So can you tell me the process of how you actually use your hula hoop? Well, the way we use our hula hoop is we try to drop it randomly across the field um, because it's sometimes it's very easy to pick the better areas and or it's also, you know, easy to pick the low areas. But you want to have a good average. And what's important is when you do your stand count, also do an assessment of how even the stand is because you can have, you know, 14 plants in the hula hoop, but they're all on one side of the hula hoop. Well, that tells me there's some distribution issues. Uh, the reason we want to do these stand assessments is uh, for some producers who are looking at maybe purchasing new equipment, they should really have an idea how good a job their seeding equipment is doing. Um, because if their new seeding equipment isn't going to do anything better than what they're current, currently using, you may want to rethink whether or not that purchase is going to be necessary. Um, the other thing is that if you have some challenges with stand, uh, for example, when you have years where the soybean seed is very dry the previous fall, that seed gets planted. Um, before planting, that seed is cleaned and treated, and you know sometimes that rough handling can cause damage to the seed. And instead of having um, you know 100, 160,000 plants uh, established, you might only have 80,000 plants established. So you need to kind of determine where those problems are coming from. The other thing that's kind of important is to look at to see if there's any damaged plants in that stand. Um, one of the challenges that we're running into this year, we've had a lot of wind and uh, recently and some storms that have moved through and growers are having some concerns about how many plants they have left because some of those plants may have gotten beat up pretty bad some might have gotten sheared off if you're, if you're in, some, in uh, some sandy soil so what you have to do is when you're doing your stand count look at the healthy plants and determine whether or not there's some unhealthy ones in there that have been shaved off so is there anything producers can be doing in a year like this where it's a dry year and they're walking through the field and they're not really seeing a lot of establishment. Yeah, it's kind of tough at this late stage of the game. You know, um, I think that's this year, it, what's complicated the issue a little bit is we've had a little cooler year than we've had in previous years. Soybeans like warm soil. They like 10 degrees to come out of the ground. Um, and this year we've had some very cool nights. So soil temperatures have dropped. So the beans are a little slower than what they have been in previous years. So I think probably the biggest thing is just knowing what your stand is. There's really not a lot you can do with it uh, if you're a little on the thinner side um, as far as you know, encouraging more plants. But what's important is if you do determine that you are at 80,000 um, uh, plants per acre on your stand, it's very important to keep that field clean for the growing season. 